Steve Shum, Director of Education at Brooks Fire Water Restorations, and a tip for your success. A lot of people think that during a storm surge or a lot of rain, the first thing they want to do is prevent mold buildup and growing by putting what we know as Clorox or uh, bleach all over their, their substances. This is not the case. Clorox is good for non-porous substances only, porous surfaces. If you look at the makeup of Clorox, the majority of it's all made up of water. And within the science uh, structure of it, the ions prevent the chlorine from actually entering a porous substance. So what actually is happening is that you're actually pouring more water onto to the uh, porous substances, actually promoting a mold growth. Because you're just adding water to the source and making it worse. The ions in the Clorox actually prevent the chlorine bleach from actually entering into a porous substance. Actually, so what are you actually doing? You're actually promoting a mold growth. You're promoting you're, mold growth. More mold growth because you're actually adding more water to the to the whole substance rather than actually trying to dry it. So Clorox is a great product, but it has to be for non. It has to be used for the correct. Items, there you go. Like clothing, bleach your clothing if you want them whiter, but not not, or not to clean up. When mold you're clothes. in bathrooms where you have tile, ceramic tile, countertops, and like which is what a non-porous substance. That's a, a great tip. For tip. Your success. That's a great tip. I love Thank you, Steve. <laughs>